But first, a road rage attack caught on camera. Well, it started with a fender bender and it ended with this. Surveillance video shows a woman dragging a teen driver to the ground. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Christina Janes. And I'm Curtis Bing. CBS 13's Yasmin Hassan is live for us in Sacramento with what led to this wild attack. Yasmin. Claire said she had no idea any of this was going to happen because when she got out of the car, she was on her phone talking to police, taking a look at the damage to the car and couldn't see the other driver coming. This person's crazy. Like, what is happening? Like, all this over something so small. What was so small to Claire Norton apparently wasn't that small to the person driving this black SUV because it led to this attack in the middle of the street. We were just fighting. Like, she was hitting me. Like, it was just really crazy. The 17 year old was driving with her friend when she says she had to slam on her brakes to avoid an accident. That forced the driver of the SUV to do the same thing. No cars were hit, but driving away, Claire noticed the driver was following her. They were driving hectic, going side by side, just really, I don't know if they were trying to get in front of me or hit my car. Like, I had no idea what was going on. When Claire stops at the light, you can see her getting rear-ended. Then the other woman gets out and starts banging on Claire's window. She was just screaming at me, like, saying things like, I'll kill you, I'll mess you up. You can see Claire getting out of her car to go look at the damage that was done, but then suddenly the other driver darts over and lunges at her. She grabs my phone and, like, throws it behind her in, like, the gutter and then starts, like, assaulting me, like, grabs my hair. They're knocked to the ground in the middle of this fight. At this point, you can't really see much except for legs flailing around and arms in the air. I think she must have got me, like, really good on my head or when, when she was pulling my hair or something because my head was hurting. Eventually, two men do stop. Claire says that they are able to break up the fight, but the other driver doesn't stick around. Sacramento is so small, so there is a chance of seeing her again. I'm not exactly sure what my game plan would be then. Probably just get away, like, you know, run the opposite direction. Claire is hoping the surveillance footage that was taken from this auto shop is going to help police find the other driver involved. And that picture she took, mm -hmm. it's pretty compelling. So if somebody knows who that woman is, they want to hear from you. All right, Yasmin, thank you.